Hey everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play for Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which is the sequel to the best game I played in 2021, Ori and the Blind Forest, which you saw me Let's Play last fall. And, uh, <laughs> I love the first game so much that I just absolutely unconditionally had to get the second game. I was like waiting on bated breath for it to go on sale so I could buy it. And then someone gifted it to me, so, needless to say, I, uh, played it as soon as I got my hands on it and loved it. So, I'm very excited to be sharing it with you now. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. Yes, I 100%ed this in under 20 hours. So let's see if we can do it again. We're gonna play on normal mode, not because you're encouraging me to, game. But because I want to.
All right. <clears throat> I was waiting for the interface to appear, but it was taking its sweet time. Yeah, I got a life orb. Go me. Because, uh, yeah. As soon as it started, I was going to begin talking. Okay, and it doesn't matter which way we go, so we're gonna go to the right. I guess as you've already noticed, that little icon in the bottom right or left corner has been appearing. That's our new save system. Um, soul links are dead, and they've been replaced by an auto save checkpoint feature, which will trigger at different checkpoints uh, in the game. Okay, that was a collapse. Uh, yeah. We can't do anything quite yet because we haven't learned any abilities. Just kidding. We've no. We have learned an ability. Grab that. Hold down an A to fall. They're teaching us that because they want us to go down. And how about that for a nice long opening cutscene? Oop. Take your torch. And go this way. Because I don't even know how long I've been going. Uh, because that cutscene took such a long time. And I don't have any keystones, so we can't go that way. We can't go this way. We also can't attack yet. Oh, we can't attack. Just kidding. Set it on fire to the rain. Down there is something we'll get to in a moment. Through here. We are going to climb up. I'm glad you didn't put that torch out, because some characters do do that when you start grabbing on items. And we have met a person! Let's talk. Gee, you know we're not normal. Fine. <laughs> so you don't go to the Badlands. Got it. Oh. Two keystones. One's here, and there's another in the cave to the west. There you go. The missing key is our new objective. Did you actually give us one? You can hit select to look up your objective, and it'll show you on the map where you need to go. We're also already 4% done, so hooray! Progress. And then start is just the normal start, so nothing special there. Uh, what's down here? Is that right and I don't have the magnet magnetic draw health to me option yet so that's a bummer these collectibles all count towards 100% completion as I'm sure you're aware uh, later in the game it'll become easier to uh, locate them but for now we have to keep looking for them the hard way that's a spirit orb light you can trade it with for items and upgrades and those restore your energy, which is the blue items. And if they have to kind of re-explain a bit. Oh, great. First death. They kind of have to re-explain a bit. Um, where did this start? Send me back. Back here. Got it. They have to kind of re-explain a lot of, uh, what am I trying to say? Mechanics, because they've made a few adjustments since the... In terms of the original game and how this one plays out. So I guess we will, uh... Well, the game will explain what they are as we get to them. Jump down this. Oop. And take that. I know I'm collecting all these. I don't need to be, like, getting the hit points made or anything. Lizard thing. Go ahead and then do that to open a collectible. And let's go ahead and just kill him. Unless he kills us first. Yeah, that's one thing that it's not changed since the first game. The enemies are brutal hard <laughs> to beat. So just keep that one in mind. And unfortunately our torch has been burned out. But if we jump onto blue moss, we can climb. Let's hope there's no more enemies because... Ah, there are enemies, but they're the kind that aren't really going to be a problem. That blue moss has a fun ability that gets unlocked later. And I reckon we will talk about that as well as that item over there. When the time comes. Yeah, I have to remember to keep hitting A because I haven't unlocked the ability to double jump yet. That'll 
The ability tree is back in the, not really as a tree this time. It's yet to buy collectibles from the hub world. When we get there, there's your first keystone. And we gotta take it to the man so he can give us the rest. Why he just didn't give it to us to begin with? Not explained. I guess he wanted to prove that we were worthy of the title of we're doing the thing before he would give it to us. Oh, this is back here. Actually, there's like an autosave point right there, right? No? Okay. Let's just keep going back. Just to get across these vines. And there he is. Yeah, we got the keystone. Yeah. <laughs> yes, do your game and you'll do your game. Whatever. We'll do our game, you'll do your game. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the sound of you did the thing. Cool. Means I need to find my way back to where the keystone is. Or like the door that needs the keystones, I should say, because we have the keystones. Yeah, that thing back there is totally not something to worry about. And the door is gonna open. Jump over these. Go ahead and take that. And then over here. Giant evil wolf is back from Sly 3. Yep, so you just gotta run. There's, you can't fight, we don't have any weapons yet. So just run and uh, he is awfully close for comfort. And I guess that's by design. Ugh. Yeesh. Just gotta keep hitting him till we win. And hope you don't die. <laughs> Is he actually dying or not? It's hard to tell there for a second there. And I died. Seriously, he died yet to do the chase again? That seems like a uh, bit mean. Ah, stop it. Wow, you, you fall behind by just one, and then you're just screwed for the rest of this chase. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. Die, please. It's so hard to do it. Yeah, come all the way over there. You know, if he died, that'd be nice, man. Not keep making me do this sequence over and over again. The damn fact that it doesn't do a lot of damage and he has a large health meter and, uh... Any other problems So the fact that this is the beginning of the game and so it's really hard to fight a really big, powerful enemy. Hey, did you hit me or not? I couldn't tell. Yeesh. I can't tell if he's regaining health or not. It's awfully hard to tell. Sla slapping. Oh, sweet. And then he falls. Or just leaves. In any case, uh, the game should remember that. I hope it remembers that at least. Now it's going to make us go back this direction. And see, you know, remnants of the fire that he was on fire with. There's a collectible. Yay, me finding secrets. Oh, dear, that's a fall! Welcome to Howl's Den. Very scary. Can I go down under these? Probably not the wisest idea. And it doesn't let me. That's good. I don't need no smart alecky wise ideas coming at me. Anyway. You! Come back here! We want to talk.
You heard the game. Hold down this button, the left trigger, and then assign an ability to a button. In this case, X. Boom. Now we can attack! Look at our improved sword of swordiness. And yeah, that is our first attack ability, attack ability, which means we can break through these now. No more need for fire. Enemies are going to take a lot of uh, hits to get through this early in the game. But as we progress, they will be upgraded. Not the enemies. Well, I mean, yes, the enemies will be upgraded too, probably. But uh, our ability to fight them will also be upgraded. As you saw right there, you can also do a down attack if you hold down. An up attack if you hold up. Whichever direction you're facing, what will give you a... I fell. An attack. Cool. We'll just go ahead and climb up. Climbing up. And... Really, this is a not too shabby spot to stop. Those guys are mean. They, like, will slash attack you. But we can down attack him. Yeah, this is a good place to stop. Uh, so next time on Ori in the Blind Forest... We're gonna go and, you know, progress towards our goal, which we don't have one right now. I guess we'll have to find a goal. See you guys then.